Pompeii, a flourishing resort city south of ancient Rome, was nestled along the coast of Italy in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, an active volcanic mountain. Its most famous eruption took place in the year 79 AD, when it buried the city of Pompeii under a thick carpet of volcanic ash. The dust poured across the land like a flood, one witness wrote, and shrouded the city in a darkness dot like the black of closed and unlighted rooms. 2,000 people died, and the city was abandoned for almost as many years. When a group of explorers rediscovered the site in 1748, they were surprised to find that beneath a thick layer of dust and debris, Pompeii was mostly intact. The buildings, artifacts and skeletons left behind in the entombed city have taught us a great deal about everyday life in the ancient world, located on the west coast of Italy along the shores of the Bay of Naples south of the modern-day city of Naples ancient Greek settlers made Pompeii part of the Hellenistic sphere in the 8th century BE. See an independent-minded town, Pompeii fell under the influence of Rome in the 2nd century BC, and eventually the Bay of Naples became an attraction for wealthy vacationers from Rome who relished the Campania coastline. By the turn of the 1st century AD, the town of Pompeii, located about five miles from Mount Vesuvius, was a flourishing resort for the most distinguished citizens of the Roman Empire. Elegant houses and elaborate villas, many filled with exquisite artworks and sparkling fountains, lined the paved streets, much of the city's wealth derived from its rich volcanic soil, the region was a center for olives, grapes, and other crops, and wine from Pompeii was enjoyed in some of Rome's most fashionable houses. Tourists, townspeople and enslaved people bustled in and out of small factories and artisan shops, taverns, cafes, brothels and bathhouses. People gathered in the 20,000-seat arena and lounged in the open-air squares and marketplaces. On the eve of the fateful eruption in 79 AD, scholars estimate that there were about 12,000 people living in Pompeii and almost as many in the surrounding region. As we all know Mount Vesuvius did not form overnight, of course. Vesuvius is part of the Campanian volcanic arc that stretches along the convergence of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates on the Italian peninsula it been erupting for thousands of years, sometime around 1995 BC, for example, an unusually violent eruption, known today as the Avellino eruption, shot millions of tons of superheated lava, ash and rocks about 22 miles into the sky. That Bronze Age catastrophe destroyed almost every village. About 2,000 Pompeians died in the city, but the eruption in total killed up to 16,000 people in Pompeii, Herculaneum and other towns and villages in the region. Bodies of men, women, children and animals were frozen right where they'd fallen. Many of the bodies uncovered later were still clutching valuable household objects they'd hoped to carry safely out of the city. Some bodies were found with their arms poignantly wrapped around children or other loved ones. Later archaeologists even uncovered jars of preserved fruit and loaves of bread. Most of the city's buildings were intact, and everyday objects and household goods still littered the streets. Pompeii remained mostly untouched until 1748, when a group of explorers looking for ancient artifacts arrived in Campania and began to dig. They found that the ashes had acted as a marvelous preservative, underneath all that dust, Pompeii was almost exactly as it had been almost 2,000 years before. Many scholars cite the excavation of Pompeii as an influence in the neoclassical revival of the 18th century. Europe's wealthiest and most fashionable families displayed art and reproductions of objects from the ruins. And drawings of Pompeii's buildings helped shape the architectural trends of the era, for example, wealthy British families often built Etruscan rooms that mimicked those in Pompeian villas. Today, Many of the preserved artworks, frescoes and other artifacts are on exhibit at the Pompeii Antiquarium, located among the city's ruins. The excavation of Pompeii that has been going on for almost three centuries continues today, and the entire site has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Scholars and tourists remain just as fascinated by the city's eerie ruins and the artifacts and bodies buried on that fateful day over 2,000 years ago as they were in the 18th century. The excavation of Pompeii that has been going on for almost three centuries continues today, and the entire site has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Scholars and tourists remain just as fascinated by the city's eerie ruins and the artifacts and bodies buried on that fateful day over 2,000 years ago as they were in the 18th century.